Hi, Gemini. It's Veronica with Vitality and Values. What's going to give you vitality and add value and purpose to your life? What do you value? Let's see. Let's pull out some cards here just to see who am I picking up here. So this is a message from Spirit to Gemini for the month of October. Gemini, Gemini, confusion, confusion, here or there. Everywhere. You want to be everywhere. Celebrating a new love. Celebrating your independence. Woo! Look at all this love, Gemini. Gemini. Mm-hmm. You have lots of... Um, you're seeing all of your resources and all of your opportunities. And so you're persevering, working hard, working um, alone independently and being content and satisfied with that but you may have <clears throat> a new love something new there's a new beginning happening <coughs> what this is like the same almost the same as the last reading Uh-oh, not the devil. The tower and the devil. Something's gonna, <clears throat> shit is gonna hit the fan. Is there something that has you feeling bonded? Bonded to, whether it be sex, drugs, uh, addictions. Um, evil, dark spirits. dark energies there Gemini what's going on Gemini talk to me comment so there's there's a calling for just for balance balancing balancing starting fresh starting new new beginning definitely Time to take take the leap. Is there some cheating in a marriage and um, some deceit? Did you catch somebody cheating? Being sneaky. Trying to get away with something. Look at this. Like these are no bueno, no bueno. What's going on, Gemini? We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We're gonna get to the bottom of this situation. You don't want to let go. Hmm? You don't want to let go. Do you feel like this is a toxic relationship? Like you, it's like your twin flame, a soulmate. Perhaps you guys are mirroring each other. You're working independently on yourself. There's beauty, there's success, there's money, financial security. Um, tell me about this page of pentacles. Oof. 
make a commitment <clears throat> make a commitment and start this new beginning by making an offer of, of love <sighs> with forgiveness through creativity um, but taking action on your passion what are your desires what is that heart what is your heart what's in your heart what's in your soul what's that inner child that inner calling that drive that passion that spark that inner drive, that passion, that spark. I'm getting a lot of energy of like of a twin flame energy, soulmate energy. As bad as soulmates and you know the love and the highs and the greatness. That person is put into your life for a reason. For you to also mirror off of one another and see not just the great but the bad in, in each other. The bondage and shed from those toxic uh, activities that no longer serve you in the, in the path that you're serving. And so it's a spiritual awakening. It's a spiritual awakening and setting um, back um, balance into your karmic, to your destiny. It's self-help, working on self, um, self-improvement to be able to reach a twin flame in union. 2020 is a year of union. It's time to strategize a way to forgive, <clears throat> to get over this heartbreak so that you can be happy. Stop looking at the negatives <clears throat> and, and focus on the positive. Instead of feeling uh, victimized, um, you know, look at what are the sacrifices being made and speak. They have clarity, communicate, communicate um, with mindful communication. What's your dissatisfaction? What's going to make you happy? What's going to complete you? <clears throat> I'm going to pull out three cards from Healing with the Angels. <clears throat> so yeah, I see <coughs> working on self, self working on self i see marriage i see marriage here i see as you work on yourself you're gonna find your inner your inner passion you're, you're gonna be in alignment with your own feminine and masculine energies and that just brings love and beauty and it's just and um you have the court system on your side here with the hair fence which is also spirituality or like a marriage and they've got marriage over here However, I do see you working alone. Something that's coming to an end. And as you, you're getting in touch with your... You're getting in touch with your heart, with what's inside of your soul, your passions, your dreams, your... What, what, what sparks that. This car just fell out. You're emerging. Your true self, radiant, powerful, successful, and in, um, in, intelligent, is now shining through the surface. 
Allow your true self to be visible to others for you lift them up and inspire them. See, so it's like you're working on yourself and you're, um, you're handling your business, your family, financially and emotionally. And you're doing this with love, through nurture, but yeah, lots of love. You are awesome in so many ways and you are being, beginning to trust and reveal your true nature more easily. At one time, you may believe that you had to hide your feelings from others or even from yourself. Now, however, you realize how vital and attractive expressing your authentic self is. Your angels are guiding you to honor your true feelings by expressing them to yourself and others. The angels will help you lovingly talk about your feelings so that no misunderstanding occur with friends and loved ones. Your angels will never guide you to do anything or say anything that could hurt you or anyone else. They will also ensure that your life will emerge to a new level of inner peace as you let your true self come out and play. You're finding yourself you're finding that that's creating the balance of from the yin and the yang feminine and masculine energy Ooh, children you're finding your inner your inner child you are asked to pay attention to your children or your inner child right now New children may be coming soon into your life very soon. This card signals that the angels you see need to play need you your uh, this card signals that your angels see your need to play and have fun and honor your inner child. Perhaps you will play with your own children or grandchildren. You might enjoy having fun with another adult or doing work that involves helping children. Take some time and ask your inner child, how do you feel and what would you like to do? Plan an afternoon afternoon where you where you take your inner child out on an outing, doing things that allow your your playful side to emerge. Emerge. <laughs> swing and slide swing and slide at the park. Take an afternoon nap. Draw on the sidewalk or chalk. Build a sandcastle. What is that inner child? want to do what's that passion what's going to bring you joy freedom and miracles The angels guide you to freely express express your true thoughts and feelings with love. You may have you may feel trapped right now by life conditions. By drawing this card, the angels ask you to realize that you are the only jail keeper that ever surfaces in your own life. Whenever you realize that you have the power to be free, freedom follows. Everything that you do in your life is by choice, and you are free to choose again. Even prisoners are free to choose their thoughts so that they feel peace and happiness under any condition. The next time you begin a sentence with, I have to, please stop. Ask God and the angels to show you an alternative. Ask God and the angels to show you. Um, they will either help you complete the task from a loving mindset so that you don't feel trapped. Or they will guide you to do something else that you will love. <clears throat> So doing things out of love, free spirits. I'm going to pull out three more of the Indigo Oracle deck. Let 
message for Gemini for the month of October. Take what resonates, toss what doesn't. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. So book your personal reading with me. I got a special going on. Click on the description box and I'll take you to a link to book your appointment. And then I'll get in contact with you as soon as I see the order come through. Look at that. Freedom <clears throat> and freedom. The cards don't lie, baby girl. Or baby boy. My Gemini. <clears throat> you love yourself. Doing things out of love. <clears throat> health. Taking care of your health. Taking care of your body, believing in yourself. Archangel Metatron, Archangel Metatron, the first angel of the tree of life in the Kabbalah, helps those who are newly upon the spiritual path. Did not say like a, you're, you're coming to a spiritual awakening or something like that? <sighs> yes, I love you, Spirit. Thank you so much. He oversees indigos and ensures that their spiritual gifts stay open and active. Like all archangels, Metatron is unlimited and able to be with you who calls upon him. This card asks you to work with Archangel Metatron in your daily life to welcome messages and signs confirming to you that you are perfect no matter what. This powerful messenger of heaven can help bring you peace in situations you feel are very unfair or imbalanced. Every time you call upon Metatron, this Archangel will immediately go to work, bring you to a calm understanding of the situation <clears throat> and your life. He will also help you let go of resentment and unforgiveness so that you can move on and now allow lower energy to affect your life. Resent let go of resentment and unforgiveness. We're drinking a <clears throat> thieves, a thieves tea, a drop of thieves and hot water. <clears throat> Woo! Wow. Yep. Letting go, letting go of resentment and unforgiveness. Look at that. <clears throat> he doesn't want to let go. Look at all this heartbreak cheating this negative and toxic jealousy like resentment that toxic lower energies <clears throat> let's see this card this card asks you to work with archangel Ma Ma uh, metatron in your daily life to welcome messages and signs confirming to you that you are perfect no matter what the powerful messenger of heaven can help bring you peace in situations you feel very unfair or imbalanced. Every time you call upon Metatron, the archangel will immediately go to work, bringing you calm understanding of the situation of your life. <clears throat> he will also help you let go of resentment and unforgiveness so that you can move on and now allow lower energy to attract your life. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Love yourself. This card reminds you how beautiful an indigo mission in life and soul you are. You deserve happiness and the most powerful way to bring into your life is to be source of it. If you want to we want love, you got to be love. <laughs> love yourself even if it doesn't seem natural and you'll be a conduit of higher energy. Take time today to focus uh, focus on at least one thing you appreciate about yourself. <clears throat> your relationship with you is the most intimate one you'll have in this lifetime the more you love yourself the more you can focus your energy specifically on the greater good children freedom this card answers your question by 
<coughs> Hold on. Time out. <coughs> Is there something you need to communicate, Gemini? If you are, are you are you having a hard time communicating with your loved one? Question mark. Freedom. This card answers your questions by guiding you to seek greater freedom. Perhaps this comes from releasing something that no longer serves you. This card is also a confirmation that your prayers for freedom have been heard and the angels are working to bring change into your life. As an indigo, you can see when someone is being controlled or manipulating. And you have the in innate ability to see unnecessary restrictions and rules. But sometimes you may unknowingly impose your own restrictions and rules upon yourself. When you draw this card, it's a signal that you should release control over your desires. Freely dream big for yourself and this planet and allow the angels to guide you to their eternal infinite wisdom. Let go of control. Let it go, let it go. And what do you think? What do you think? Resonating? Resonating. So, first step to loving yourself is loving your body. Watching what you're putting into your body. The angels bring you this card because they have a message for you in regard regarding health. This can be about yourself or someone close to you. Health refers not only to physical but also emotional and spiritual wellness. When this card is pulled, it is a sign to make sure that you're not owning or identifying with any health co conditions. Detach from the condition and see as it separates you from, 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 separate from who you are and as a phase in your life and you will quickly be over. Separate the situation from you and a phase in your life that will quickly be over. Archangel Raphael is working with you when you see this card. So call upon him and his magnificent green light to aid with he health and healing. This card can also be a sign that you are a healer. Since indigos are born with powerful energy and ability in this arena, this may be an indication that you should confidently move forward with your healing training work. Amen. Mic drop. There you go. That is a message for you. Gemini, you are coming, you are emerging into the spiritual um, light worker. And so you're learning to forgive, to love, <clears throat> to eliminate toxins from your life and add um, nutrients. They're going to add value and vitality. Vitality and values with Veronica. All right. This was beautiful, beautiful reading. See you next month. Not literally see you, but don't forget to click on the subscribe and the little alarm bell so you can get notified for next month's reading. Have a good month.